We are in the last few weeks of the Supreme Court's current term, and the justices still have two dozen decisions to hand down. Among the most high profile, whether the 2020 census will contain a controversial citizenship question and the fate of a nearly 100-year-old peace cross built to honor World War I fighters, it stands in Maryland. To help us break this all down is Chief Counsel and Policy Director of the Judicial Crisis Network, Harry Severino, and President of the Constitutional Accountability Center, Elizabeth Wydra. Ladies, wonderful to have you with us. So let's break down quickly for our viewers uh, the nuts and bolts of this case here. At issue, we're going to look at census and the citizenship question first. At issue is whether this question should be added to the 2020 form. The Trump administration says it would help enforce the Voting Rights Act and lead to a more realistic accounting of the U.S. population writ large. But critics, civil rights groups, say it would lead to undercounting minority populations, particularly blacks and Latinos. Carrie, who's on the right side of the coin here? Well, this is a question that should be really be unremarkable. The citizenship question has been on some form of the U.S. Census for the vast majority of its history. Um, this would just be, and it's already in questions that well, are... Well, but not since 1950, right? Not, not since 1950 not the when they introduced on, on the short form, but they still use it in the long form regularly, and it's something right. that the Census Bureau continues to ask in, in, their, in their regular surveys they do. It, it is very foundational that a country ought to know how many citizens it has. It's something the United Nations recommends its, its uh, member nations do. This is something that should be totally unremarkable. The fact it's even being challenged shows a disturbing trend toward att attempts to push back on the very concept of citizenship. And it's, it's frightening to think there could be several justices in the court who would suggest that that's not even an appropriate question. Again, the, the country had asked for hundreds of years that they, that they shouldn't be allowed to Elizabeth, ask that question. you disagree. So I absolutely lay, lay disagree. Lay out your perspective for us. Yeah. So for First of all, the census is supposed to count everybody. Our Constitution ensures that everyone, whether you're a citizen or not, whether you can vote, whether you can't, is counted. They're counted Meaning for purposes... Meaning it wants to get a handle on the U.S. population. Yes, because large. the census no might sound boring, but it's not. It's important for political representation, and the Supreme Court and the Constitution ensure that everyone counts for political representation, whether they can vote or not, citizen or not. That's in the Constitution, and it's clear. And also so the census ensures that uh, federal millions and millions, $800 million, um, uh, is distributed to communities where they need it. And so if you are undercounted, if vulnerable communities are undercounted, and the research shows that they would be undercounted, with this edition of the question, then that's a big deal. And the information, as Carrie says, is already available through other forms. And so it's really just a cover-up reason well, to say it's for the voting rights. Well, let's get to the right? Because a lot of the, the idea, so he was hardly right. trying to oh, cover. Well, likes a lot of conservatives. <laughs> a lot of conservatives will tell you this is about dollars and this is about you know federal funding for states. This is about house seats for Democrats. Carrie, tell us about the political implications of well, this decision, one way or the other. Well, we need to know who, where where the American citizens are located. This is not that's not the only question being asked on there. Yeah. The citizenship surveys ask a whole lot of questions and. If if you look at the people who are declining, the questions that are declined to answer, they decline to answer that question at similar rates as like declining to answer whether you're married or not. So there's a lot of speculation that goes to. I disagree that, that it's clear that people are going to be uh, not answering the survey. I think right now we are not asking the entire country the question on citizenship. So we are getting this from spot check surveys these, the Census Bureau is doing, but we don't have those numbers for the countries allowed uh, as, uh, at large. It's common sense to say we need to know those answers. The 14th Amendment talks about the privileges and immunities of citizenship. It's right there in the Constitution. Citizens are the ones who are voting, so it makes sense to know those numbers. But that's or, not the I, operative we, constitutional clause. It's about political representation, the, which in set, the 14th Amendment is very clear that everyone is counted when it comes to drawing the lines for and this political would, representation. They would, they would still and be the Supreme counting Court just said that. everyone. Again, it's total, I think it's total speculation saying people are going to refuse to answer the question simply because... I mean, research of, shows it. It's not being, speculation. I, we, we, we disagree on the research. Check out the urban I, instance. I, I, well, and to be fair, the focus shifted. The focus shifted this se. year to executive privilege when you know the president invoked. There's now a fight over whether this is even in the administration's prerogative to make this decision. Whether Secretary of the Treasury Wilbur Ross 
rightfully, you know, took this decision upon himself. So that's still got to get hashed out in the and, interim and as well. And if you look well at the, the, the constitutional grant and the congressional grant from its grant, it is incredibly broad. It's virtually unlimited, saying they just need to count the people. And Congress gets the authority to do that. Congress but if the reason is a good one, why, not, why are you hiding the documents We didn't even get to the Congress. peace cross, which I wanted to talk to you guys about, because this was such a lively and heated debate. Thank you so much. We'll bring you back to talk about the peace cross in the next few weeks. Thanks so much. Thanks for having us.